Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there's an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Welcome to my zone online school. My name is Teacher Mutza and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is being safe and road safety. And before we get into any lessons grade twos, we know that we need to sanitize. So we sanitize by rubbing inside our hands, around our hands, in between our fingers, on our wrists, and our fingertips too. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be doing computation, writing, and multiplication. For our lesson now, boys and girls, let's all turn to page 12. On page 12, we are going to be doing computation, the subtraction of decade numbers. It's going to be our job to work out the answers to the questions that follow. Remember, only your tens are going to change, which means that your units are going to remain the same. Let's do the first one, A, and the next one, F, together. Now, if we are going to take a look at these decade numbers, we need to know first which ones are our tens and which ones are our units. That way, we know what we are adding. So, I'd like you with a pencil or a color to write tens or units on top of the numbers. We know that this is our unit. So all the first numbers in a digit, two digit number are units. And then the next numbers are tens, which means that only these ones are going to change. So in other words, instead of saying 38 minus 10, we are actually saying three minus one. A very neat trick, isn't that right? So remember, only the decade numbers are going to really change. And in this case, we are saying three minus one. And three minus one, my dear children, we know is two. So the first digit is going to have a two. Now, let's take a look at our units. Now, we said that it's only the tens that change, but that doesn't mean we do not calculate the units. Our units say eight minus zero. If I have eight and I take away zero, then my answer, boys and girls, is going to be eight because I took nothing away. And we have our answer. So 38 minus 10 will give us 28. Remember, only the tens will change. Let's now try again with another number. Here we are taking a look at F. 
So the first thing we need to do is identify our tens and our units. Let's put a U on top of all our units, which is the first digit. So we put a U. The next one or the one in front is our tens. So we make sure that we know which ones we're going to be dealing with. So now instead of saying 93 minus 50 equals, we're going to just say 9 minus 5. So let's start. We can use our fingers, counters or the number line. Let's use our fingers. We need to get from 5 to 9. So 5 is already there and then we can say 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have four fingers. That means that our answer 9 take away 5 will give us 4. So that is the first one that we're going to write. 4 for the tens. Now for the units, just because we are not changing them doesn't mean we do not try and subtract. In this case we are saying 3 minus 0. And if I have 3 and I take away 0, my answer will remain 3. So now we know that 93 minus 50 will give us 43. So take your time with this one and remember it's only the tens that will change. To help you, don't forget to put the units and the tens so that you know which numbers are actually going to change. Have fun and I'll see you when you're done after the advert break. Follow us on MyZone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Now, boys and girls, we are going to practice our sequencing on page 13. On page 13, we have two tasks to do. The first thing is to put our pictures in sequence. When we say sequence, we mean order. So, each picture we can see there needs to be numbered from number 1 to number 6. After that, our next task is to make sentences for each picture in the correct order. We're going to use the vocabulary below. We have the words boy, cornflakes, wash hands, milk, spoon, and bowl. So first we need to number the pictures. So let's take a look at our pictures. When we see our pictures, we can see that the first thing is there is a boy eating. The next picture we can see is of milk, a container of milk. After that, we can see the same boy washing his hands. The next picture we can see underneath is a spoon. Then we have a bowl. And lastly, we have cereal. In this case, Cornflakes. Which one do you think is the first one? The first one that we're going to do, or the first one that we're going to say is number one, is of the boy washing his hands. Remember boys and girls, before we do anything, we must always make sure that our hands are germ free. So it's important to wash them before you touch anything. The next one that we're going to take is the one of the bowl. Now for us to eat cereal, we need to put it somewhere. So we're going to use the bowl as number two. So washing hands will be number one and then the bowl will be number two. Number three will be the spoon because you cannot have cereal without a spoon. Number four will be the cornflakes, the cereal box that we can see. So go ahead and write number four in the box. Number five will be the container of milk because after putting our cereal, we need to put our milk. 
Then the last one will be of the boy eating his food. So we have now numbered from number one up to number six. It's now our time to make the sentences and write them according to each picture. So let's try and do the first three sentences together. Number two says, we're going to write. So let's take a look at our words. There are three words we're going to use today and they are bowl, spoon and wash hands. So we're going to start with the first action that we said, which was wash hands. That's also picture number one. We need to make a sentence in order to say what's happening in the picture as well as using this words, these words, wash hands. So we're going to say, wash your hands with soap and water. Or we can say, wash hands with soap and water. We're going to do the second one. I want you to please do it with me so that you don't get lost. So number one is going to say capital letter W for word wash. Then we say wash hands. Make sure that your spacing in between your words is the same. I'm going to put two fingers here. Wash hands and shape your letters correctly. Wash hands, very good. Finger spacing with, don't forget that the small letters all need to be the same size. So make sure that all your small letters are the same size. Wash hands with soap. I'm going to start after my finger spacing and I have my word soap. But boys and girls, I've run out of space. You can clearly see that there is no more space to write here because there are no more lines. So I have to go to the next line. And I will say, wash hands with soap and. I have my word and, then my two finger space, water. There we go. So we are almost done. And like how we start a capital letter, or we use the capital letter to start our sentence, we must put a full stop to end our sentence. So that's the first one. And we can see from the picture and the words that we have used that it is correct. Wash hands with soap and water. We have used wash hands. So we can go ahead and cross it out so that we don't use it again. The next sentence is going to be based on our picture, which is the picture of the bowl. So the bowl we can see here has nothing else on it. It's just a bowl. So we can say, take out a bowl or use a bowl. So we're going to say, take out a clean bowl. That is going to be our number two. So let us start. The word take starts with a capital letter T. So that's how we're going to start. Take out, two fingers spacing for me. It could be one for you. Take out, shape your letters nicely. Take out, Finger spacing, a, uh, finger spacing, clean, finger spacing, bow. Make sure you spell all your words correctly. And then a full stop. So now we have used the word bow to make the sentence, take out a clean bow. Now we could be taking it out from the cupboard, taking it off from the shelf, but so long we have a clean bowl. So we're going to cross out the word bowl so that we don't use it again. Then 
The next one is for the spoon. Now in our pictures, we numbered the spoon number three. So that means our third sentence has to do with the spoon. We need to use the word spoon to make our sentence. So number three, we can say, take out a clean spoon. It's the same. So capital letter T for the word take. Remember to make sure that all your letters are the same size for the small ones. And your big letters or the ones that need to touch the top line are actually touching the top line. Take out. Don't forget your finger spacing. A finger spacing. Clean. Very good, everyone. Finger spacing. Spoon. Good job, everyone. And a full stop at the end. So we have managed to make three sentences with our three pictures and putting them in order. The first one had a picture of someone washing their hands and we had the words wash hands. We made the sentence wash hands with soap and water, putting a full stop at the end and crossing the phrase out. The next one that we had is number two. We had a picture of a bowl, then we had the word bowl, and we made the sentence, take out a clean bowl. We also put a full stop at the end and crossed the word out. Number three said, the picture had a spoon. We had the word spoon, and we made the sentence, take out a clean spoon. So after that, we need to cross it out so we don't use it again. The rest of them for number four, five, and six, you're going to make by yourselves. Remember to use the vocabulary that you have been given for number two and to take your time to make your sentences. Make sure they make sense and that they are written neatly. I'll see you when you're done after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over 10 different languages. <music> For our lesson now, boys and girls, we are going to go to page 14. On page 14, we are going to be doing groups of, which is basically multiplication. We have to think carefully before we write our answer. We're going to do number one together, but only a few. Number one is asking us to make groups of two. The first one says two times two which means two groups of two. So that is the one we're going to do together. Let's take a look. So in order for us to answer the first one, which says two times two, we need to make two groups of two. So the first thing we do is make our groups. One, two. And since there are two groups of two, that means we need to put two things inside. One, two, one, two. So now that we have put two groups of two, it's now time for us to add everything together so that we can get our answer. So we say, after making the two groups, we count what is inside all the groups. And remember, we have put two in each of the groups. So we say one, two, then we count on three, four. So our answer is four. The next one is saying three groups of two. So this time, instead of drawing two groups, we're going to draw three of them. So we say one, two, three. 
Now we have our three groups and it's our job now to put two in each group. Remember, three times two also means three groups of two. So we say one, two, one, two, one, two. So now that we have put two things inside each of our three groups, our job in order for us to get our answer is to answer, is to actually count all of them to get our answer. Let's count. One, two, we count on three, four, five, six. So after adding them all together, we know that they are six. So you can use this method for the groups of. Remember, it's the same as saying two times two. You need to draw two groups and inside you put two. Here, we drew three groups and inside we put two. So take your time, use a separate piece of paper before you write your answer. I'll see you when you're done after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Great twos, we have now come to the end of our lesson and I hope you had fun. I know I did. Remember, if you're not sure what to do, that's okay. You can ask an adult for help. But you need to finish your work by yourself. So now that we've done grade twos, it's time to sanitize. Remember, when we sanitize, we are trying to show the world how responsible we are. So sanitize as regularly as possible. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. I wonder though, I have not seen Swashi the whole day. He said he was going to go and get us masks. Zashi, are you back? Oh, there he is. Hello, Zashi. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye. <laughs>